morning, happy Friday. It's probably not Friday with you, but it's Friday here now, early on Friday. Um, and I am just grabbing the camera and getting ready to give this RS6 back. So before I do that, I thought I'd just set you up and um, give you a bit of a chat about what's going on. So welcome to TI22. If you've not caught us before, um, it's a little channel here where I talk about the cars that I've been detailing, cars that we've had through the shop, and a few other bits and pieces relevant to new cars and car care and how to keep cars at their best. We even do some BPF stuff. So thanks for tuning in on this, probably, hopefully what is gonna be episode three of season three. Um, I'm just trying to put some sort of seasons and stuff logically together now so that if you want to go back and see the other stuff, you can kind of piece it all together a bit chronologically. And hopefully you can see that the stuff we're doing now is a little bit better than the earlier stuff. So, top job, first thing on the agenda is, look at this, a Nardo RS6. Which, I don't know, Nardo, Nardo might almost be starting to win again over Crayon for me, the Porsche Crayon, which is the other flat grey at the moment, that's big, that we see a lot of. Uh, so this RS6 was in um, 12 months ago, about a year ago, when it was brand new. I uh, wanted to do a video then, but unfortunately time constraints meant it wasn't possible. Um, so yeah, we did a brand new then. It's since done 12,000 miles. I have to say hats off to the owner. He must have looked after it extremely well because it's in incredible condition, really, swirls-wise and that sort of stuff. Um, so it's back in for our ceramic top-up service. So after you know, 12 to 18 months, even with these amazing coatings we've got, you know, they can start to build up stuff. There's a tar build up and there's a few other bits and pieces. So we refresh the coating, um, just really give it a big clean up, uh, a little bit of a light machine polish, renew the ceramic top coat and get it back to uh, where it was when it left on day one, really. So we've done that with this car. Um, and James, for the editing, a little note for me when I'm editing now, if you, now is the time to put in some shots. So just while you enjoy some shots of this car, um, just not from, so you don't get bored of this angle of me, um, I'm just gonna try and edit in some other stuff and keep the audio going. So it's just this car in this color. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, what a thing. Who doesn't love an RS6? Who doesn't love a fast wagon? Um, really pleased with how this has come out, a testament to how the customers looked after it and a testament to how well the coatings are working. Um, just helping with that scratch resistance, um, just helping, despite the mileage, helping keeping it look really as good as it was on day one, which is brilliant stuff. Um, so yeah, lots going on at the moment, lots of cars going through. Hopefully uh, you're enjoying the videos. Um, a few other things popping up at the moment, so uh, most of you will know, I'm sure, that I am a Rupes authorised trainer, one of two in the UK. Um, the next date, a lot of the training I do is at the Ultimate Finish in Brands Hatch, for those guys down there. Um, the next date has been set as the 1st of August for the next training day. Lots of you are always messaging me and saying, do you do training and when's the next training day? So the next training day is 1st of August, Brands Hatch, Ultimate Finish. You can go on their website and look at training courses and then you can literally click and book yourself on that course there and then. So we cover lots of stuff on those courses, everything from, you know, they're really designed at people who have picked up a machine before, but we've had people on the course who've never even touched a machine before. So big range of abilities catered for, um, certainly for you professional guys or you serious hobby guys who've got two or three machines. Um, we go through much more about the economies of the system, how it should be used. Because a lot of people pick up a DA and use it exactly the same way that they've always used a rotary. And that produces great results, but it's not where the magic of the system is really. Uh, so we break everything back down, really give you that sort of background on how the system is designed to be used and how it really can give you a big efficiency boost let you give your customers much more for their money. Um, and then we go into some much more advanced stuff, so all the variables you're in control of when you polish, uh, your machine speed, your arm speed, lots of other little bits and pieces. How does that affect the polishing? Um, what, what can you achieve by manipulating those variables? 
Um, and then we do a little bit of sanding, a little bit of everything else. Um, obviously, I run a detailing business, so there's lots of questions we can answer for you on detailing business questions, which is the harder side of it, to be honest. Um, and all the rest of it. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, book on that course. Um, go and see the guys at Ultimate Finish and say, I saw James's video. Um, other than that, anything else, wax stock. So looking forward to wax stock this year. Uh, I'll be there as normal again. Um, I will be there primarily with Kamikaze Collection, I think, and Ultimate Finish. Um, although I'm sure I'll be bouncing around with the IDA and with Rupes and a few other people uh, just looking back. So if you're there, come and say hello. It'd be great to bump into you. Um, yeah, so that's it, I think, for this instalment. I've got a couple of little bits to do and finish on this RS6 now before the customer comes and gets it. Um, some mega stuff around. We've had some great cars in this week. Um, we had an M2 Comp in this week, which has had PPF on the front. That's gone in the Hockenheim Silver. I did film some stuff on that, but we've already done a Hockenheim Silver M2 video, so see how that goes. Maybe put some of that stuff in, because the PPF side of that was great. Um, and yes, there's some more stuff cooking, which will be in future videos, I think. Um, so it's all good. Thank you very much for your watchings. Um, please continue to watch, share, comment. The commenting's a thing, really, guys. Let me know what you think about this format. Um, what do you want to see more of? What do you want to see less of? Do you want to see more of the process stuff? I know Jim White on his channel does lots of good stuff about that, and I'm keen to not just try and do what Jim White does because he's a much better video editor than I am and frankly I couldn't get anywhere close. So this is me, uh, do you want me to talk about all sorts of stuff, types of machines, oh, we can do more technical videos or we can just keep it going with the cars and the lovely, lovely things that keep coming through the workshop. So let me know um, and keep your eyes peeled sort of towards the end of every week now, we're looking to do one video a week. Um, into season three and hopefully keep that going as long as possible and we look forward to seeing you again next week thank you very much have a great weekend